stuff here is amazing. <laughs> Hello everybody, I hope that you're well. My name is Christiane and welcome to my channel, Backpacking Bananas. I am currently traveling up the east coast of Australia on the classic backpacker route. I've been traveling on the Greyhound bus up from Byron Bay. And this morning I have traveled from Early Beach up to the little town of Air. Now, I was the only person on my Greyhound bus who stopped off at air. Most people were going on to Townsville and Magnetic Island and Cairns. And this town is dead. I'm like, it's a Saturday afternoon, a sunny Saturday afternoon. I'm walking through the middle of town. There's no one around. The busiest place that I've seen was the pub, which was like half full. So you may be wondering, Christiane, why on earth have you come to this little town of air, which no one seems to be going to? And that's a very good question and I have a good answer. Off the coast of the town of Ayr, there is a little town which is the gateway to one of the best dives in Australia. When I say dives, I mean scuba dives. If you don't know, I'm quite into my scuba diving. I'm a rescue diver. As much as I enjoy seeing what's over land in a destination, I like seeing what's underneath the water as well, especially if it's known to be quite good and unique. And here, close to the town of Ayr, they have one of the best wreck dives in the world. So, right now, I am still in the town of Air because I've just been dropped off by the Greyhound bus. I've come to the little Anzac Park playground area just so that I could eat a little bit of a, a snacky lunch that I just bought from Woolworths. And I'm waiting for my transfer to pick me up from this town and take me to the coast. It's in about it's two o'clock now, they're picking me up at 3.30. So I thought, you know what, I'll just come and chill here until that transfer comes. I'm lucky that it's a nice, pleasant, sunny day. I actually really enjoy coming to these kind of towns, which not very many people come to, but like, I know that there's something you need. To be fair, I, I didn't know about this until Welcome to Travel told me about it. So Welcome to Travel are sponsoring this whole series and they have designed my entire itinerary up the East Coast based on my own travel style and preferences. And Daryl, the owner of Welcome to Travel said to me, Christian, I know you love scuba diving and you have to do this dive in air. And so I'm super stoked to be here. And actually on the topic of Welcome to Travel, if you don't know them, they are one of the leading tour companies here in Australia. They have eight day tours in both Sydney and Melbourne designed for if you are arriving in Australia, either on a working holiday visa or on a tourist visa. Not only do you get to explore these cities and immediately tick off some Australia bucket list items, you also get to do it with a bunch of cool new people who are also in the same position as you and welcome to travel. Also help to support you with all of your needs that you might possibly have throughout your time in Australia. So I highly recommend checking them out if you are coming to Australia and I do have a discount code, which is BB50, which gets you $50 off. I will link that down in the description for you as well. The email said approximately 3.30 that they picked me up. I don't know how long I, I could be waiting here for, but it is now 3.30 on the dot. So, we'll just wait. We'll just wait. What happens if they don't come? What do we do then? There's, n there's nothing here. A few minutes later. So I am still here, 10 to 15 minutes later, and they hadn't arrived. But good news is I've just given them a call and I was like, is this the right bus stop? Like you've just said air bus stop. And so I've come to where like the Greyhound buses drop me off. Is that the correct one? And she was like, yes, it's the correct one. They're probably on their way. They're probably just running a bit late from like a dive that they were running today. And so I was like, okay, cool. Now I can relax. So I guess I will just continue waiting here a little bit longer for them to arrive. There's not much else to do in air, you know? <laughs> All I can do is wait and eat my snacks. And on the note of snacks, well, you saw what I had earlier. Thank you. But I also picked up three bags of this Berry Bliss, which is my favorite sweet that you can get in the Australian supermarkets. And today they were half price. This bag was $2 down from four. So I was very, very happy. They are quite literally an orgasmic sweet. 
Okay, happy days. I have arrived at my accommodation right next to Yongala Dive, which is who I am diving with because we are diving the SS Yongala wreck. I don't know if I've mentioned that yet, but the accommodation that's right next to Yongala, I don't think they're actually affiliated, but they are right next to each other, is called Alva Caravan Park. Wait. Oh God, it's windy. Goodness. Alva Beach Tourist Park. I've just walked all the way to my room. Would you like to see it? Got a lovely little balcony area outside, room 29. You walk in and there's some lovely twin beds here. Now I did book like a dorm room. So I don't know if I'm actually gonna be sharing with someone tonight. We will see if someone ends up in this bed. Anyway, there's a mini fridge, TV, little coffee station. I am blooming sweltering in this room and it looks like there's an air conditioning unit, but I cannot figure out how to turn it on. Oh, here we go. Okay, we'll go with that. I haven't used an aircon unit like that before, but we'll see what happens because it is sweltering in here and I really need the toilet. Let's go find the toilets. Oh, men's laundry facilities. Is that showers? Hang some things up. The ladies. Showers in here as well. They have a lovely looking pool here. It actually looks quite glorious. Kind of want to go in for a day. And then they've called this the spa. And I'm just curious about the temperature, honestly. Okay, it just feels kind of cool. What about this one? Same temperature. Okay, it's it's not a spa, it's just a smaller version of the pool. I don't know why I'm finding this so fascinating. I never really ever stay in campgrounds. Obviously I'm very used to staying in hostels and so I'm just finding it really interesting walking around here and just seeing what the dynamics like. It's nice though, nice grounds, they're very beautiful. I really feel like I'm in Queensland here even though I've obviously been in Queensland for the past like five vlogs. Oh, so that's so nice. As I was just walking back to my room of the campsite, I just had this man coming, approaching me. And he was just like, oh, hi, are you diving tomorrow? And I was like, oh, yes, I am. And he was like, oh, hello, I'm Steve. I'm going to be a dive instructor tomorrow. I was like, oh, fantastic. Did you just find me walking around? And he was just like, yeah. And he's invited me to go with a bunch of the dive squad uh, to the beach on a quad bike for some sunset bevies. I was gonna get a bit of work done tonight, but you know what? I think that sounds like a much more appealing option. I didn't buy any bevies from BWS, but that's fine. I've got my water. I shouldn't be drinking big before a dive tomorrow anyway. So they're gonna come pick me up from my room in 20 minutes. Nice. I'm not so alone. <laughs> to leave. Good morning everyone. I think I need a top. I shouldn't walk out in a bikini top, right? Okay, we have a top. Honestly, <laughs> this happens to me a fair amount in Australia because you're just so used to just being in a bikini and not wearing a top that you might just forget. But I feel like I need one for the day. Anyway, so I'm wearing my welcome to travel one. All right, goodbye lovely room for the day. This way. Now I believe yeah, I believe the dive shop 
is literally so obviously that's my room i think it's just there it is good morning <laughs> special place, it's the resting place for 123 human lives that were lost and it is protected by the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park. There are some rules accordingly. First one is no penetration. Nobody's going into the wreck today at all. We swim around the outside of the wreck but don't go in. We don't touch the shipwreck. I'll be taking down a pony bottle which will be hanging on that angled line as well. So if there's any confusion, you'll see a little white tank. Head for that white tank. Cruise straight along to the top of the shipwreck at 16 metres, work out some neutral buoyancy with your BCD and recommended to drop down to about 20 to 22 metres, which gives you a nice view of the cargo holds, engine bay, galley and lounge, another cargo hold. A couple of big smokestacks that are about three metres long, big and round. You'll go around them or over them, but not under them. First one in your dive group or buddy pair with 120, turn around and head back. It's suggested to kick up and over the other side to the hull where you should be able to drift back nice and easy between 16 and 18 metres on the curvature of the hull. Back to this line. So do pay attention to where that rope attaches to the boat because you have to come back to it.
dive buddy. I don't know how much I was able to actually speak to you or how much you could hear me uh, with the dive casing on that camera. But now I am back at the campsite and what a brilliant two dives that was. I don't know if you could tell, but I was feeling nauseous on that boat. It was rocking up all over the place and it was like, hectic coming back into land like at low tide being able to like park the boat but also somewhere that was not too deep for us to walk in crazy anyway back at the campsite now just showered and i'm just heading back to here's Ru rudolph hi rudolph hi. just heading back into the dive shop because they're putting on a little sausage sizzle uh for an afternoon lunch <laughs> that smells delicious <laughs> <laughs> The dive trip to SS Yongala with Yongala Dive was 250 Aussie dollars with an extra $62 in various fees, so $312 in total. And my accommodation in this little shared room in the Alva Camp Tourist Park is $46 per night. The ladies are up at sunrise. Sally came to pick us up from our little room at 5.40 in the morning and we don't know if it's going to be any good because it's been raining but you never know it's only a like a five minute walk to the beach and we've just arrived <laughs> A bit of a disappointing sunrise honestly that's kind of as good as it gets the girls have even gone back now to start getting ready for the day they are diving today i am not i am getting the bus well i'm gonna get dropped back in air and then i'm gonna be getting the bus to mission beach i'm leaving the beach now I really don't think it's gonna get any better. Also, I feel very self-conscious about the fact that I'm literally walking in my pajamas for that abroad right now. This is not appropriate. <laughs> And we are back at the kind of deserted big bus stop where this vlog kind of began. That is Air Bus Stop. So um, lovely Steve from the dive shop dropped me back into town. It's like 10 to 15 minutes from where the dive shop and where I was staying actually is. That little area is called Alva. And yeah, I've just been sitting in a cafe for the past two to three hours which has been very very nice as i catch up on a little bit of work and now my greyhound bus is due we never know if the greyhound buses are going to be on time or late so who knows how long i'm going to be waiting here for but this feels like a good time to end this vlog i really hope that you guys have enjoyed this video and if you enjoy scuba diving may actually consider coming to yongala like scuba diving the SS Yongala and coming to air when no one else on the Greyhound bus is but I think it's totally been worth it. it that was an absolutely incredible dive and I'm so glad that I came here and I'm so glad that Welcome to Travel introduced me to this because otherwise I would have had no idea. Please like this video if you did enjoy it and subscribe if you haven't already to keep up to date with the rest of my travels going north in Australia. My next stop is going to be Mission Beach where I should arrive this evening and I will see you guys uh, in that video. Bye bye!